Hello, this is C-Dub with PianoClubhouse.com and uh, this is going to be a video for those people who uh, are not familiar with the, the uh, knobs and the controls of an organ. Um, I'm going to show you just a basic uh, beginner lesson on what all these controls are for that you see here in the presets and the knobs and the drawbars and all that kind of stuff. So first of all, for anything, you have to know how to turn it on. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, that's what I'm going to show you first. Now your on-off switch is here. <clears throat> and uh, as you can see, you see it says start and run and uh, then you got the two off. So when these both are down, uh, the organ is off. Okay. And uh, when you want to start it, you're going to use this one and, and once you get it started, then this is going to be used to run. Now what I like to do to turn it on, I take the start and I push it and I hold it for 10 seconds. And you can kind of hear the organ warming up. And if you do not hear that sound, that means that your organ is not plugged in, okay? So you hold that for about, I say like, you know, around 10 seconds. Sometimes if your organ's been sitting in a church, you know, over the weekend or, or nobody's played on it in a week, you know, you may want it to run longer. And then once you hold that for 10 seconds, you push this up, and you let this one go. All right? So that will start the organ. And that's why you have this on run because it's running now. So usually when you do that, uh, most organs take, you know, it could take anywhere from 5 to 30 seconds to actually come on after you do that. But this one's already been, already been on. So as you can see, it's already on already. So that's how you start the organ, okay? And then uh, you have, I'm going to start on this side. You got your three controls here. And uh, you see it says uh, volume, <clears throat> uh, vibrato swell, and vibrato great. And uh, this, this is a control that changes up what you do with these. These turn it on and off. This is what makes it do what it do. So of course your volume, uh, if you want your volume, the overall volume of the organ to be louder, you will press that to normal. Okay, and if you want it to just be, you know, soft, softer, you don't want it to play as loud, you will take it down to soft, and that will make the organ go down. Okay, all right. Your vibrato swell and great. Uh, this is going to control uh, what you turn on and off, okay? This turns it on and off, and this is what you're going to be working with. So, like, if you want your organ to sound different, you can switch it. It kind of gives you that oldie, old sound, or you can turn it off. You hear the difference? And these are all different settings you can have it on to make your organ sound. So this one is used to control the bottom keyboard, and this one is used to control the top keyboard. All right. So we've explained that. So we're going to move to the draw bars now. <clears throat> and as you can see, there are a lot of draw bars. That's what these are. OK. All the way down. I like to look at them as in five sets, OK? Well, before I show you the draw bars, let me show you one more thing. Um, you see these black and white keys? They're kind of the opposite of these black and white keys. The exact opposite, actually. Uh, what they are are presets. <clears throat> and um, they're presets to what you want your organ to sound like. You know, if they're presets for these draw bars, in other words. These are, this is like manual. And this is like preset, OK? So these change the sound of your organ, OK? But if you already know a particular sound that you want that's already in these presets, you just press it, and uh, it automatically. OK, so I press that one. See how the, the tone changes? OK, and most of the time, uh, like if you get a new organ or 
uh, you know, depending on what organ you play, these will be labeled and the preset, the type of sound it, it gives out will be actually on the key. So you'll know, you know, exactly what you're getting when you push it. Okay. And these two at the, at the end here, these are for the draw bars. Okay. And that's what I'm going to show you next. Okay. So what, like I told you, you know, these draw bars, I like to break them down in, in sets of five. Oh, in, yeah, in five, five different sets. So you got your first set right here. And you can tell it's divided because it's like, it's almost like there's one missing right there. So you know that's when the next set starts. So you got your first set. You got your second set. Right there. Third set. Fourth set. And your fifth set. Okay. All right. So what they do <clears throat> is this this one right here. Okay. As you can, yeah, I got this. You know, if I press this, you, you hear something. But I press this one, you don't hear anything. Why is that? Because the the draw bar is all pushed in. Okay. See what's going on. All right. Okay. So these, <clears throat> this is going to control. These two are going to control these two sets right here. All right. So the reason you don't hear anything right now, these two control these. All right. So if I were to pull out one, I got it on the bottom. So this one goes <laughs> with this one. I'm trying to do the camera work and explain this at the same time. But this uh, this last preset black key goes with set five. Sure. Yeah, that'll work. Appreciate it. Goes with set five. Okay. All right. So what the draw bars basically do is they add more to the note. Okay. It's like a harmonic. They add different harmonic sounds to the note. So you pull out one, two, three, four. Every time you pull out one, it gets brighter and brighter. All the way out. Push them back in. Gives you more of a smooth sounding. Uh, organ. So that's what they basically do. They just add more brightness. I like to say it like that for the beginners. They add more brightness to the sound. And uh, whenever you get ready to, this is good for, you know, putting them out when, you, when the preacher's preaching or something like that. Or if you're just playing soft music, you don't pull them all out. You just kind of push some in. And you can play around with them and get the sound that you like. So, <clears throat> uh, like I said, these two will uh, control sets four and five okay so this is like four and this is set five okay so if you push this one down and you don't hear anything then probably on your set five there's nothing pulled out then you hear something okay all right so you got these last two that's four and five and this is one and two same thing goes for the top here so if you got two down and you don't hear anything out of question on. But if you don't ha hear anything, then that means that you need to pull out something out of set two. And then you hear something. All right, you pull them all out. You get a bright sound. And you push them in. You get a smooth sound. All right, so the same thing goes, this is for set one. Push in all of set one. Leave one out, you get a smooth sound. So that's basically what the draw bars do. Now, uh, I haven't talked about, is that's the middle, middle one right here, uh, set three. And these are for the foot pedals below, okay? So you got the foot pedals, uh, and uh, you pull out the first one, it gives you more of a deeper sound. Pull out the second one, it gives you like the octave harmonic, okay? So you pull out both of them, it gives you both sounds. So most people like to play with one end. It just depends on your preference, how you like your organ to sound.
So these are for the foot pedal. So we got five sets here. And then move down to the harmonics. <clears throat> I'm sorry, to the percussion. And uh, you have these four knobs here. You see percussion, you see percussion volume, and percussion decay, and percussion harmonic selected. And uh, what this is is, is adds. It's kind of like adding. Uh, like it helps you be able to play rhythm rhythmically, I guess you would say, or it adds that extra percussive sound. I'll show you what it does. So I go to this, pull these out just to give you an idea. It gives you that sound, yeah. So you turn it off, and you don't have it. Now you have it. All right, so well, what do the other ones do? Well, this makes your percussive sound either normal or soft. So right now it's on normal. You can kind of tell it's kind of really cutting through. But if I want it on soft, you can hear more of the organ mixed in with the percussive sound. Do it again. Okay, and then this is for how fast do you want your percussive to, to, to hit when you hit the note. You want it to hit slow or fast. And when you have it on fast, it's like right on it. Hit it slow. It's kind of hard to hear, but it's, it lags a little bit. So. Okay, and then the last one is uh, the harmonic selector, and that gives you which percussive sound you want. Uh, do you want the third or the second? And you can hear the sound kind of change. Put it on third. See the difference? Okay, so that's basically um, everything, but there's one, but I guess you'd say last but not least, and to me this is the most important thing on the organ, and it's just like you can't live without it, and that is the Leslie switch. And that uh, is like what really <laughs> it makes the organ to me. So basically it's just a switch that, that uh, lets the rotor <coughs> in this Leslie Let's see if we can back up here so you can kind of see it. But it's uh, something inside turning that makes the sound sound either chorusy or like, I'll give you an example of what I mean. It's, it's easier to show you than explain it. But so right now, I have it to the right. And uh, sometimes uh, it'll say corral or tremolo or something like that. But some, you know, different Leslie switches will say different things. But basically, you turn it one way, you get one sound. Turn the other way, you get a different sound, okay? Turn it, right now I have it to the left in my Leslie motor. You probably can't see, yeah you can, you can see it. See it's turning and slow. So it's gonna give you more of a chorusy sound. Okay, now if I turn it the other way, you see it speeds up. That's what that switch is for, and that makes a big difference when you're playing. So I hope this has been helpful. hope I didn't leave out anything. I mean, there are different types of organs, and different types of organs have different types of knobs, and some have extras, you know, things along here, little different presets. Some have beats, you know, that you can play along with uh, while you're playing the organ. But this particular model, uh, this is what you have. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, and uh, this has been C-Dub with PianoClubhouse.com. Thanks.